Hello everyone, I'm Sukhpreet and I welcome you back on my channel, Learn English with Sukhpreet. This video is the third part of Error Correction with Justification. Error Correction, as I told you, it comes in CBSE papers and as well as it is, an, uh, it is a very important part of all the competitive exams. So let's get started. Let's know how to detect errors, how to correct them. And I have also proposed a justification with that so that you can learn the rules by heart. So let's consider the first sentence. The first sentence we have over here is he acted not as per my advice, but somebody else. Now see, in this sentence, the sentence means to say that that person, that person he, he got advice, he got pieces of advice from different, different persons. He did not act according to my advice, but the advice given by somebody else. Now, when we see this sentence, we see that there is something lacking in the sentence. Like this, my advice, that here I'm showing possession, my advice. But whereas somebody else there, I'm not showing possession. But we can show it using an apostrophe. And the hint also suggests that we are to use an apostrophe over here. And the erroneous part is D. Now, you should learn how to use apostrophe S with L, somebody else. So we are to use it after else. Not somebody's else, but somebody else's. The apostrophe S that makes it possessive that comes after else not somebody so it goes the sentence goes correct in case somebody else is replaced by somebody else's he acted not per my advice but somebody else's here in meet it means to say that he acted not according to my advice but the advice given by somebody else so when advice that thing advice is not repeated so we use an apostrophe s to show possession somebody else's Next sentence, use this good quality shampoo for your hair. Use this good quality shampoo for your hair. And the erroneous part is C. You should note it that hair, we are to use hair instead of hairs. As hair is used in singular and singular only. So we can't say hairs, it's hair. Next sentence, he was given a homework by his teacher. He was given a homework by his teacher. So in case you've seen my video on nouns and its kinds, then you can easily make out where the error lies. In case you've not seen it yet, do see it. It is there on my YouTube channel, the noun and its kinds. Now, it is already, uh, uh, we are already aware of the fact that we use articles with countable nouns not uncountable nouns now you are to see it yourself that the hint suggests that there is a problem with the article so article if we see over here there is only one article in this sentence that is a now it's a rule that we cannot use erroneous part is b it's a rule that we cannot use article with uncountable nouns now see the uncountable noun here is homework it cannot be counted it's uncountable this quantity of homework is uncountable so with uncountable nouns we don't use an article so the sentence goes correct if we delete a he was given homework by his teacher just Noted down that we don't use articles with uncountable nouns. Next sentence. They as well as I am trying to solve this problem. They as well as I am trying to solve this problem. And your hint is subject and verb agreement. And the error lies in the A part. If you've seen my previous video on error correction and justification, you can very well imagine that very well can, you know, recollect that I told you that in case of along with, we consider the first subject, not the second subject. Same is the case with as well as. Now see, we have two subjects over here. Subject number one is they and subject number two is I. This is subject number two. In case of as well as and along with, we the verb is according to the first subject. And now see, am 
does not at all agree with they. So we are to use over here are, not, am. So the error lies in part B. Part B error lies in they as well as I are trying to solve this problem. The sentence goes correct in case we replace am with are. Next sentence, everyone is determined to do their best. Everyone is determined to do their best. And your hint is pronoun. You very well know that everyone, when I say, I am talking about everyone gathered over there individually, not collectively. So when we use everyone, then the pronoun that we use that should again be the individual pronoun not the collective pronoun but herein we see that this there is a uh, i mean to say that you know this there refers to so many persons but everyone that means individually so we are to use either his or her over here so this the error lies in the b part we are to replace this there with his or her. In case the gathering is of girls, then every one is determined to do her best. In case the gathering is of boys, everyone is determined to do his best. And in case the gathering is of boys and girls mixed, then you use his, his, that the sentence would go correct, or you can use his, uh, his or her. You can give an option, use his or her, or simply say his. Even then the sentence goes correct. So in case of everyone, you should note it that we are talking about persons individually, not collectively. So the pronoun that we use should be the individual pronoun only. Next sentence. You and myself are to get this done. You and myself are to get this done. Again, the error is in the pronoun and the erroneous part is A. Now you should know it. You is a subjective pronoun. Whereas myself is, you know, a possessive or reflexive pronoun. Sorry, reflexive pronoun is not possessive. It's reflexive pronoun. When we are using subject, when we are using you as a subject, then we are to use this I also as subject, not myself. So here in the sentence would go correct in case we replace myself with I. You and I are to get this done because we are using you and I as subject. Next sentence. I, you and he are responsible for this great achievement. I, you and he are responsible for this great achievement. Now see, we are talking about some achievement. Again, there is a problem in the sequencing of pronouns here. And the error lies in part A. Now, I'm going to tell you how this error is there. You are to note this sentence. The sentence is saying, I, you and he are responsible for this great achievement. That means it is kind of achievement, a praiseworthy task, a matter worth congratulating. This is such a matter that when, you know, whenever this information is being given to some other person, they would be congratulating you. They would be felicitating you. So in that case, when you are looking for praise or felicitations or congratulations or best wishes or good wishes on account of something, you know, achieved so great, so great in extent or size, then you need to change the pronouns, the sequence of pronouns. Just note it. It is only in case you are going to get praise of something for that. You've done something good. You've done something great. It is only in that case that the sequence of the pronouns would be second person then third person and then the first person this goes like this now what is first person i and what is third person he or she or they and second person you remains you now this is the sequence it is valid only in case whatever you are saying is going to get you some praise it's something good it's something great when you are saying that so according to soft skill you should put yourself in the end so the sentence would go correct in case we say you, 
comma he and I are responsible for this great achievement. This rule you should write it somewhere. You should keep it, keep a note of it, and you should use it as much practice it, uh, practice, practice it as much as possible. That whenever we are saying something and that that uh, something which is great or good or it is going to get us some praise and we are using all types of pronouns over there, then we are to follow this sequence. That is second person first, then third person, and then first person. That is. You and you, he and I are responsible for this great achievement. So it is like showing humility also at the same time. So you, he and I instead of I, you and he. The next sentence. Now see the sequence changes. He, you and I are responsible for this grave mistake. Now the matter is something you are informing the person that you you committed some mistake or error or blunder. So in that case, obviously you will be reprimanded or you will be you know censured or you will be um you know in any way you know you are not going to get any praise for that you might be reprimanded scolded or what not you know it can be in other way also so in that case the sequence of pronoun changes and here also the error lies in a part and c the error is that whenever you are going to get reprimanded or you are going to get scolded or you know you will be punished for doing that or something information what you are conveying would get you some punishment and all that then you are to put first person then second person and then third person this is the sequence that means i you and he are responsible for this grave mistake this sequence should be remembered i you and he instead of you he and i now see the change you must notice in the last sentence which we covered in the last sentence i told you that we are to use second third and first person this two three one is the sequence in case the sentence or the information you are passing would get you some praise would you get, would get you you know applause or you know it's something that is you know expressing some great achievement or something like that in that case the sequence of pronouns to be used in a sentence is two three one and in case it is going to get you some punishment in that case the sequence is one two and three keep a note of it and practice it practice it as much as possible next sentence myself ria of class 10 this is again a very grave mistake committed by many, many, many students, many persons. So it's a mistake. You can never start introducing yourself using myself. Myself, it's not at all correct. And you are to simply replace myself with I am Rhea. Myself, it is, you know, it is incorrect. Don't use it that way. You cannot start a sentence with myself. Fine. I am Rhea of class 10th, not myself Rhea of class 10th. Okay. So replace myself with I am. Next sentence. If I were him, I would have reprimanded them for this chaos. If I were him, I would have reprimanded them for this chaos. Now see where the error lies in this sentence your hint is pronoun the error lies in the pronoun now where is the error error is in part a now you are saying him but here in again we are using he in a subject so it would be he you remember that subjunctive mood which i covered in you know the tenses video Again, if you've not watched that video, you go watch it, then you know that subjunctive mode, it would be clear to you. It is basically when we imagine things, when we, when whatever we are saying, it's a supposition, it's not the reality or something unreal we are talking about. Like here, the person is saying, if I were he, if I were Rhea, if I were Sia, if I were Ram, fine, it is that way. So when we say Ram, obviously we are using it in the subject way. That is way only, that, that's the same way we are to apply over here, not him, but he not her but she we are to use over here so it's like this subjunctive mode thing it would be more clear to you when you will get to know more about uh, sub, uh, this uh, tenses and all that which is there uh, on my youtube channel a video on tenses just go through that many doubts related to this would be clear to you but as of now i'm just considering uh, you know this correction so the correction i'm proposing over here is we are to use he instead of him and why is that because 
we are talking about a subject if i were riya if i were sia if i were ram if i were sham if i were rihan so when i'm saying that like you must have done a composition in your uh, junior classes if i were the prime minister of india so we are using the prime minister as a subject over there so same way whenever we use subject so he he can be a subject not him him is obviously the object of he so he we are to use over here if i were he i would have reprimanded them for this chaos Thank you so much. I hope this video has enhanced your English proficiency and many doubts related to, you know, English grammar concepts. Watch my other videos on error correction, which are already uploaded on my YouTube channel. And this is the third part of error correction. You start watching from part one. I'll keep making and keep sharing such videos with you. Uh, but before that, before you actually uh, delve deeper into error correction, you should watch all my videos on English grammar. I've uploaded these videos on my youtube channel this will definitely uh, these de videos will definitely enhance your english proficiency and at the same time enhance your vocabulary by watching my vocabulary booster videos the playlist is available on my channel learn english with supreet thank you so much this is uh, what i was to cover in this video stay tuned for more such videos thank you so much keep watching keep learning